Hi everyone, this is Lisa Ryszczak and I'm planning my daughter's second birthday party. Um, I got her some balloons, three balloons from the dollar store because there's going to be three tables. And I have these um, weights I got at the dollar store and I kind of use these for all um, at the birthday parties. So um, I'm currently putting the balloons on these just by tying a knot. And I'm making it a little lower um, so there's longer strings so it'll go a little bit lower because these are going to sit on the table so I'll make them all the same height. Okay, so there's two of them that have these balloons and I will do the third one now. I can kind of spread them out. I kind of just close them up when I put them. Okay, and I want to make sure it's the same height and I will tie this around. Okay, we are having a bubble birthday party for her and um, we're all pretty excited to have it. Like I said, it's her second birthday so she can move around more. We're having it at a park at a pavilion and I got a lot of stuff from the dollar store so I'm kind of just cleaning it up right now so I can bring it so I don't do that later. So these are worth three packs of bubbles for a dollar and these will be fun for all the kids to have. Oh, that was my phone. And my little daughter sitting over here eating her lunch right now. All right, so I tried to get at least one thing of bubbles. Bubble. Yeah, bubbles for all the kids, and she loves bubbles. So these came in different colors. They say bubble fun on them. It does say three plus, but this is her second birthday, but there will be adults there. So I'm not really worried about it. They did have other options for bubbles. These are from the Dollar Tree. But um, these were the easiest to hold and to blow. They did have ones that were popsicles, which we're gonna have popsicles at the party. So I was gonna get those, but then... Yeah, bubbles. Lots of bubbles. So that is the reason I decided to get these. They also have a little thing on the cap that you have to take off, so I might actually do that um, also before the party, just so parents don't have to struggle and get their hands all dirty. <laughs> okay, another thing I found... Yeah, it's since this at the Dollar Tree, um, and it's going to be at a pavilion. I found two of these to put on each side in on the ground. So again, they're like this. I found one, two, and they're kind of the colors of the party. I didn't really go an exact theme, but pink and purple because it's a little girl. So two of these, and I'm just throwing the trash away as I go. I also got two giant ones in pink and purple. So they can refill the bubbles right there. Okay. What else did I find? These are hanging um, butterflies that I thought we could hang um, from the top. I'll just keep them in there. They look like this. We found uh, these bubble things. So I could take them out. And this is just a different variant of a... Um, flowers and a different tray to hold them in. Yeah, more bubbles. Are you excited? I know you are. All right, and I'll put this in the trash section. So again, these are just different flower ones I thought would be fun for the kids. Bubbles. Yeah, you want to do bubbles. This was a princess one. I thought that would be fun and different. So um, this one is an awfully big tray that you could just be neat. Not sure why that's in there. I guess it'll look nice. All right, this is in the go pile and this is in the trash pile. I have a couple tablecloths, I have an extra one. Again, I'll take this out of the plastic for now. So um, I guess, like I said, I decided to go with a pink and purple theme. So uh, I have some purple tablecloths and this one is a rectangular pink one. Bubble. Bubble. And again, like I said, I'm taking these out of the packages now, um, balloons if we want to blow them up. So um, when we get there, it'll be easier. Here's some more bubbles we did open when. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how to make these quick flowers for the party. I just laid out tissue paper and I have some party string here. So all I'm gonna do is make an accordion of some of them. So I'll do purple first. And it looks like this is all the purple. purple. Yeah. Purple. And you're just gonna go back and forth. All right, so here's the whole section. Just go back and forth, like an accordion. You can make these as big or small as you want. 
they'll get different size petals. And then you can finish the edges how you want. These are the edges here and here. So you can make them all different um, colors if you want. I'm just choosing one solid color to make them. And that you can do the edges all different on the sides. Bubbles. Yep, we're having a bubble party for my daughter and she loves to say it's bubbles. So I'm sure she will be so excited when there's lots of bubble blowers and everyone blowing bubbles at the party. All right, so we have that there. We're just gonna tie this right in the center and then finish the edges. And then we'll just puff it out from the center. All right, so I cut four of these already because I know I'm doing four because there's four different colors. You can pull it as tight as you want. Um, so, oh, all right, I guess double knot's gonna be how it is. All right, so these are, again, the edges. And maybe I will just curve them like a big flower because it will be similar to these just with a big smooth edge which will also be at the party we're going to put those in the ground because it's going to be at a pavilion all right those are just scraps maybe for a different project all right so then you lay it down and you have to start to fluff it up so we'll pull these out to the side and this is basically how you make a flower out of construction paper and these are very inexpensive because you could get this whole pack for a dollar I got the string for a dollar, but I'm going to be using it for different projects. So then you just fluff them out like this. And you can make them a circle if you want. Sometimes you'll need more, or you can just make them a half circle. My daughter's playing with those flowers now. All right, so this is more just one that could sit on the table. Or if you want it to be more um, of a circle, you just fluff it out on both sides instead of laying it flat as you puff it out. So this is basically what it looks like. <laughs> and I think we're gonna hang them because we're at a pavilion. So I'm gonna hang a long string on there and it'll just kind of be a big fluffy flower. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, I'm gonna continue to make these paper flowers. And the one thing I just thought I would do is I would take a string and attach it to each one. And my daughter has the string over there. So, um, when I tied it in a knot, first I tied it, and then I attached this long string, so it'll be easier when I go to the park just to do it right away there. So I folded all these accordion style, and then I just have to cut off the edges in a half circle again. So um, you can, it's pretty simple, just try not to make it fray because you will see the fray when you do it. Are you doing what mommy was doing? And I wasn't perfect, you see some of them are end here, some end here. And I think that's fine, because once you um, start to fan them out, it doesn't seem to be a big deal. So I didn't make sure it was perfect on each side. All right, so I did make five of these, because that's how many colors there were. You could make the um, this green look like leaves on the edges, or you could do multicolored ones. That's fine. And this would be good for baby Mama, showers, Mama, Mama, Are you stuck? You want to just play with your bubbles, huh? All right. So I'm trying to do as much as possible before we set up at the park. So when we get there, I just have to do a few things to set up. You could save these for our um, different occasions, but this only costs, well, a dollar for the paper, crepe paper, and a dollar for the string. So I just get rid of them until the next party because they don't really fold up as well as you'd like, but you could keep them. Um, one time I actually just put them up in my daughter's room um, and just tie them all together and then put them in the corner and she really liked that for a while. I thought they got dusty eventually so I took them down but I'm sure she'll want them again when she sees them at a party. <laughs> yep. All right so we tied it in a knot we have a string here we accordioned it and we cut the edges off most of the way and then we're just going to we'll lay them flat and pull out half one side so here I'm just lifting out so this one only has four so I'll have to do two on this way and two the other way all right turn it over and then it kind of makes a ball or if you just want to lay them flat on the table for example you can make these a weight for your um, balloons I have some balloons here and I just use these as weights that I'm gonna put on the tables so if you get them all even, then they'll all be um, flowered on each side. 
but you kind of get the idea. And I will kind of reflect these once we get there. All right. So there. Do you like it? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So um, then I will just carry them like this. All individually. Oh no. <laughs> I don't want her to play with it. I'll just leave it there. All right. She will be able to play with these when we're all done. And I'm sure she'll be excited to, if people hold her up to them, she can touch them with her hands. All right. So I'm just gonna continue to do this. And it's pretty much like purple. See, if I did have them all even, they would all have this flowery edge. But I think they kind of look like clouds or, they just look like nice decorations. They're gonna flow around in the wind. All right. Well, thank you for watching and please continue to watch if you want to see more of what I got.